Demon Slayer or Kanetsu no Yaiba if you want to be fancy. It's fantastic. But I doubt you have to hear it from me. I mean, who am I? I'm a loser. I have zero subs. But what if I were to raise the stakes and tell you that it won this anime season? Also, I'm pointing out that this is anime only, so no manga spoilers, please! Alright, so for you non-seasonal anime watchers that are too scared to experiment even though you're in college, let me explain the plot to you. Tanjiro, our protagonist, was living a pretty normal life besides the fact that he has five goddamn bloodhounds to make sense in one man. I mean, this guy calls Double Jointed Boy here superhuman, but he's over here smelling anger? After coming back from a trip, Tanjiro finds his whole family murdered by a demon. Oh yeah, there's demons in this world, by the way. Oh god, that's disgusting. Everyone is dead, minus his little sister, which is the epitome of an emoto I would die for. Things take a bad turn when his badly injured sister turns into a demon, and he has to find a way to turn her back, which involves killing Mr. Overused Michael Jackson joke. To do this, and to obtain all the oxygen in the world, he'll need help from the classic old mans, some skull kids, a boy, and a mop. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he has this one. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, this sounds pretty interesting, but what makes it the best show of the season? Well, if you sit still for the rest of the car ride, I can tell you. Also, no McDonald's because we have food at home. Since Demon Slayer is an anime coming from UFO Table, it's almost expected that it'll look amazing. I mean, they handled both Fate Zero and Garden of Sinners, which look fantastic, but it's easy to say that they went far and beyond in this series. The style and the colors that they gave to the characters and the attacks are candy to the eyes, which makes other popular shows this season look like it was drawn on a napkin. I often catch myself rewinding a fight scene midway just to see an attack land again. This isn't only true for the fights though. There are slow moments in the show that look stunning as well. The level of detail that they put in every little movement in these scenes is actually staggering. I mean, it looks so good that it trended on Twitter. On Twitter! You know how rare it is for an anime to trend on Twitter? It was right there next to the other seven K-pop trendings, so you know it's a big deal. So as you can see, Demon Slayer definitely does not disappoint in the visual aspects. On the side of characters, Demon Slayer has a fairly large cast, with Mr. Tangerine himself being a standout. Mostly because he's just so damn lovable. The only thing on his mind isn't revenge, just like other characters with this kind of backstory. His main quest is to cure his... He has this air of kindness and compassion for his enemies that you don't see in a lot of other protags. This directly contrasts with the main baddie, Muzan feared by all of his men, and doesn't even think twice about killing them. Which of course makes him dad of the year material. The other two guys are pretty good too. We got the wild boar head wearing pretty boy that looks like a pretty girl but is actually a pretty boy, Inosuke, and the yellow mob that I was talking about, Sanetsu. I'll admit that at first I wasn't the biggest fan of him because of the yelling and the screaming, but the more information about him that was released, the more he started to grow on me. Still find it kinda weird that he's trying to sleep with Nasco. <clears throat> but that's beyond me. Each of them separately are interesting, but the interactions between them is definitely one of the highlights of the show. All three of them work off of each other's All three of them work off of each other so well and this makes for some very interesting and funny scenes. Of course if I were to talk about the whole cast I'll be here a while, so I only cut it down to the main characters. I already started talking about how juicy the animation is, but it would be a war crime to not talk about the fights themselves. Other shows this season also had breathtaking animation, but they were often interrupted by, um... <laughs> unnecessary events. 
However, in Demon Slayer, this is not the case. Each fight is memorable in its own way and beautifully detailed. It's not often where you could be inside a constantly rotating and disorienting room and still know exactly where the baddie is and how the fight is playing out. Oh yeah, and then I mentioned how fluid each fight is because Holy shit, no this is fucking incredible. Look at this, are you fucking seeing this? Oh! So I hope I was able to effectively make my point about Demon Slayer going far and beyond compared to other shows this season. Thus making it an absolute standout even when being compared to other very good and highly rated shows like Dr. Stone and Fire Force. With its animation, extremely likable cast, and main character, also it's gorgeous, non-interrupted battle scenes, it definitely won its place at the top. Hey guys, Neighborhood Ice Cube here. Thank you for making it all the way to the end. If you liked the video, maybe hit the like button. Maybe even hit the subscribe button while you're at it. Maybe even the bell icon so I could tell y'all interested. Hmm? <laughs> nah, but I'll see you guys in the next video.